What's up everyone? Good night, my name is David Sinair and today we're playing Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots once again. Hey Zach, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the stream, I mean. You know the channel. Let's see if my TV still on an acceptable level. If there's any echo, please let me know. Let's dive back into it. We just met the Beauty and Beasts, which are the bosses from this game, and they killed all these people. yesterday. Okay. We got all the stuff and we are ready to go. I don't really want to avoid it. What? Wrong button. What? <laughs> I always make this mistake. This is more like Metal Gear ISS. Probably. It will change. And... I can't wait for it to change because I really dislike this setting. I don't mind it in other games, but I don't like it in Metal Gear. This does not feel like Metal Gear to me. It's not that I don't enjoy playing it so that I can think of much better ways they could have done this. Huh, music. Team of Salt Snake. Great. I... what? I... Isis... not individual letters. I, I don't... I don't know, I don't use that uh, designation in Portugal. Another one coming. <laughs> oh, the suppressor. It's cool. But I wanted to explore up there. Oh well.
something there. Who's that? No one here after all. Caution, he didn't see me. Holy oh, shit. Why am I not managing to grab these guys? HQ. Hey Raj, how are you doing? Uh, you might want to lower your bit rate. Uh, I really don't know how to do that. But that's something I would love to do. Uh, I don't I don't really know how to do that on X split. I have I've messed around with it. I didn't manage to find out. Probably just me being dumb. No, not OBS. I'm using XSplit. I haven't learned how to use OBS yet. I know I should. Yeah. I need to learn OBS. And I've... I need to come to terms with that. Because <laughs> I, I seriously need to change some stuff. But I've always found XSplit easier to work with. Seems no one uses OB uh, no. XSplit nowadays. What? Who is that? So I can't point him here. here. Not that bad, only took me a week to learn. But I learn new stuff about it every day. Yeah, it seems really, really open. And that 
also scares me because it's too complex. It has too many choices and I feel overwhelmed. My upload speed is <laughs> 0 0.5, I think. There's something wrong. Support unit. Confirm their <gasps> 0 0.8 at best. <laughs> so it's really bad. Yours is a one. Don't feel, don't feel bad. Sometimes zero point nine. I think mine is one tops. Uh, like before, every other device is applied. I usually stream late because I I try to to turn off everything before I stream. But hey. Uh, still really low and we found liquid yeah I tried to have it look good at least but the frame dropping is a problem that I've noticed I just don't know how to fix it yet or, well, change the bitrate might fix it, I, I hope. I knew it. Snake, you're here to kill Liquid, aren't you? That's the mission. Are you going to stop me? My mission is to inspect the PMCs. I'm not in a position to take action. All I can do is stand by and watch. I can't help you, understand? I'm a peacekeeper, here to keep order. Understood. Yeah, 4.5 is really great, Zach. Don't badmouth it. I'm really hopeful because uh, fiber optics are coming to the next town over. And I'm, I really, really want it to happen here as well. I don't know. I don't know if it's lucrative enough for them to do it where I live. He could take a sniper shot. He has to go out into the open like that. What? 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 Oh, <laughs> 
You get 13? I thought you said you get one. Many internet providers are just scamming. It's true. A lot of people complain about that. Oh, your download is 13. I thought that... Uh, isn't that like DSL speed? <laughs> yeah, they never tell you the upload. Most people don't need upload for much. As you can see, all characters are coming back. In case you didn't understand, this was a problem with their nanomachines. It was an attack, a cyber attack on the system. Huh. 
23 alert phases. And that's the end of Act 1. So we can finally leave the Middle East. Because no one likes that. I think I'm going to skip the briefings because these are way too long. You guys let me know in the chat if you want me to skip or not. I can do whatever you guys feel it's best. I don't want to cut it just for the sake of cutting because I, I'd like to show it to you. But I don't know. I don't know if you feel it's worth watching 10 minutes worth of briefings. I'll be right back. Yes, you are watching a child make eggs. I think they're interesting. I just don't know if you feel they're interesting. Uncle Pal? The eggs? They're done. I wouldn't want them skipped. Snake! So, back from the dead. So, it's up to you guys. Remember the sun being so flat. Sorry. I'll dig in right away, Sonny. And would you make some for Snake, too? Okay. Uh, uh, hey. Not for me, Sonny. Uh, You're not interested, but it's for the best that we don't yeah. skip. Could have been Meryl, yeah, I don't know. Right? Don't worry. They're doing fine. Liquid got away. Are you okay? My body just seized up all of a sudden. This is normal. It's not my joints or muscles. It looked like the PMC soldiers all went haywire en masse, too. I thought it might be a form of ADS, but I didn't detect any aberrations in the EM field. You were lucky. Some of those guys' hearts simply stopped. Hmm. You're right. Naomi was there. I found traces of her DNA in that syringe you were holding. So it was Naomi. Why? Here, let me show you something. Right after it all happened, I got a video mail from Naomi. It was oh, I love that, address. Raj. If you can help me with OBS.
I sure would. It would be a, a great help. Uh, um, here you go. I have it, and yeah. it's all ready to go. So, just a question of really learning it. But you haven't even eaten any. Poor Sunny. Grown-ups uh, have to watch our caloric intake, you know. Ah, oh, but thank you. I was looking for this. You're not watching your nicotine intake. Sunny. Sunny's cute. Yeah, I do need the help. <laughs> hurt her feelings. Yeah. Why don't you teach yes, I have Skype. Um, like I know how to. I'll type it in the chat, hey, uh, or not, because I, I have no idea. Uh, can you whisper yours Data's to me? Quarantined. No viruses. The voice print matches Naomi's, and I'm fairly confident the video isn't digitally synthesized either. Or send me a message, it's easier. Because I can keep track of it. Snake, I'll make this quick. I'm in South America. I've been captured and forced to do research. It's Liquid. Liquid's goal is to seize control of SOP, the sons of the Patriot system that controls the soldiers. To do that, he needs to analyze the nanomachine structure and find out how they communicate with one another. The nanomachines currently in use by militaries and PMCs are third generation. But their design is derived from that of the first generation. Basic technology is still the same. First generation. I was the one who created the first generation, a nanomachine colony, part of which was Fox Tie. Nine years ago at Shadow Moses, I injected it into your body, Snake. The technology used in Fox Tie was incorporated, inherited really, by SOP. That's why Liquid has me helping him hijack the system. Okay, I got it. Please, you must rescue me. Liquid's found a loophole he can use to get into the system. Preparations for his insurrection are needed. Thanks, thanks for the message. That helps me keep uh, keep track of it. There's no time to waste. I was going to say keep an eye on it because it's, I have you it's written there. Naomi sent her location data in a separate file. What the hell is that? It's a type of encrypted data. So it's cool that we're not skipping this because this is how we know why we are where we are. This is data from the Soliton radar you used at Shadow Moses. And what we're really doing there, how it all comes together. Sending the map data in Soliton radar format. Pretty clever. And Mei Ling's helping us out from Hawaii. The data she sent was 4D sound data. I don't know how Soliton radar works, but. All I had to do was change the audio data into video data. It was easy. This Naomi lady seems pretty cool. <laughs> it's Campbell. Snake, as you recall, following the Shadow Moses incident nine years ago, Naomi was detained by the authorities. But someone arranged for her escape. Yeah, I hear they added that to my rap sheet, too. I suspect it was actually Liquid. He must have taken her prisoner himself and forced her to do research at his facility in South America. Chances are, the location Naomi gave us is the site of Liquid's main base. But there's no actual proof. There's an ongoing skirmish between the new regime put into power by PMCs and a rebel army formed by remnants of the old one. 
The rebels have hired a small-scale local PMC of their own to stir things up. It's the quintessential example of a war economy market. The new regime is still in shambles, so it's really pure raw moment. One of the PMCs under outer heaven control that's calling the shots. You might say it's a perfect place for Liquid to make his haven. Or it could be a trap. True. But even so, the payoff would greatly aid our efforts. I had Sunny trace the origin of Naomi's name. The address is fake. But Sunny was able to track the message back through its proxies based on access date timestamps and data transfer volumes. Apparently, the message originated from a server in South America. I wouldn't exactly call it 100% credible, though. Colonel, where's Meryl? Well, I know she left the Middle East in pursuit of liquid. I'm sure our sock is on to us by now. We can't chase that line too far. Naomi is our only lead. I secured you landing clearance at El Dorado International Airport. You'll be acting as a UN inspector. South America. That's about 20 hours from here. Then what's the plan? I'll arrange for them to get you a 4x4. The location Naomi gave us, the PMC's base, is in a mountainous region surrounded by forests. Use the 4x4 to get as close as possible to the PMC security perimeter. From there on, Snake, it'll be a solo sneaking mission. Middle East, the worst place to be. It's true. And it's the one chapter you could actually skip from the game. Thanks. The Rebels are still pitched in battle against the PMCs. The commotion should help you slip into the facility unnoticed. 20 hours until we land. Got it. I'll have a look at the documents. Maybe I'll even have a smoke while I still can. I never tried to take Afghanistan, it never worked. It's true. Okay, that was the briefing. It was a bit long, but at least you know why we're going to Africa. And the first chapter acts kind of like a way to get in touch with the reality of the world and how things happen with the PMCs and all of that. So the story really picks up from here. You could actually almost skip Act 1 and not lose anything. So. There are five acts, by the way. Patriots, you mean? The data we got from Arsenal Gear was a load of crap. Twelve founders who have all been dead for a hundred years. Give me a break. We know they exist today. If the purpose of this battlefield control system is to control IDs, it fits in with their plans perfectly. Seizing control of the world's ID systems and then using them to manipulate the economy and information flow. For the Patriots, that's the ultimate prize. You might say the Patriots are the embodiment of the war economy. Everything that Solidus feared five years ago, it's all come to pass. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. Now, with the media and global opinion under complete control, not even the UN can stand up to them. Then Liquid's insurrection is against them. Exactly. It would seem as though Liquid has taken up Big Boss's cause. 
an age of persistent universal warfare, a world where mercenaries are free from domination. In a sense, the Outer Heaven Big Boss invasion is already a living reality. You mean the PMCs and their war business? Right now, Liquid is a slave to the Patriots, forced to fight their proxy wars for them. We must be dying to break free of their spell. Beneath the surface, a new Cold War is brewing between Liquid and the Patriots over who will survive. And no matter who wins, the world has no future. Until we stop Liquid and destroy the system, we'll never be free. Snake, what we call peace is an equilibrium kept in check by the war economy. Destroying the system means wiping out the information society, the end of modern civilization. Like it or not, we may have no choice but to protract the system. Snake, here's what we know about the current battle. Rebel guerrilla units are advancing on the base of the government PMC troops. That base appears to be Liquid Safe House. According to Naomi's data, she's being held prisoner inside the compound. Like Resident Evil 5? What do you mean? You can't skip stuff on Resident Evil 5, can you? What now? The government PMC troops have been operating at high altitudes. We have reports that it's starting to upset the balance of the nano machine control system. Meaning? Meaning the low blood oxygen content seems to have an effect on their nano machines, giving them a slight edge in battle. Be careful. Steer clear of altitude sickness. Got it. I have um, an Elgato coming to storm capture safe. cards. He must be among their numbers. Sooner or later, he will come. Don't let down your guard. Mine is the one that can capture PlayStation 3. I think there's only one.
And Beauty and Beasts are really weird. That's all we can say. Otacon. What the hell? That was Vamp. I'm sure of it. I'll never forget that face. Those were PMC soldiers with him. Is he involved in Liquid's plan? We watched him die in Manhattan. Damn it, he won't leave us alone. Snake, could Vamp be immortal? Not a chance. This is the real world, not some fantasy game. I swear, the next time he shows up... Not now, Otacon. Right. I know. Snake, according to satellite imagery procured by Mei Ling, the facility where Naomi's being held is to the north, along a mountain road. I'm sending the location to your map. Mei Ling? What's she up to these days? Taking command of the Missouri, apparently. The Missouri? That's a World War II battleship. The museum contract in Hawaii expired some time ago. I hear it's now being used as a virtual training vessel. No kidding. Not for actual combat training, of course, but rather to get sailors used to seamanship on an analog vessel. Or so I hear. After the mess at Shadow Moses, Mei Ling kind of got put out to pasture. Hmm. Even so, making captain at her age, that's pretty impressive. Rumor has it she caught the eye of some lecherous old admiral who got her promoted. She always did have a thing for her older men. Hmm. Maybe it's too early to retire after all. Thinking of taking a little training on an analog vessel, Snake? Huh. No. At this point, I've got no need for any more training. Fair enough. Listen, Snake. When you get there, remember, the conflict between the PMCs and the Rebels has nothing to do with your mission. There's no reason for you to get involved or take sides. That said, creating some sort of impact on the battlefield could produce better conditions for sneaking. The Rebels are targeting the facility being used by the PMCs as a base. This is more or less the same spot where Naomi's being held. If you aid the Rebels, they might get rid of some of the PMCs and help carve a path for you to sneak in. That freak I just saw, with the tentacles, was it using the same octo-camo system as my suit? Yeah. I thought that technology was of your own design. Um, actually... I kind of based it on some design Sunny snagged off the net. And the data came from? DARPA. <laughs> so in other words, we're on equal ground technologically. Sorry, I guess I should have told you. And by the looks of things, they know I'm coming too. Yeah, it could be a trap. Stay sharp. Okay, time to move, finally. So... Yeah, Raj, uh, I'm, I'm sure the capture card is great for, for OBS. I was trying to get a good one, as to not have to buy uh, later another thing. Can't stay for a long time, and I are about to play Lego. Wow! What Lego? I never get any Lego, any Lego action. Okay, let's try to free those guys. Well, that was good. Get the weapons and let's move! Come in! This is HQ! Oh god, I totally cheated, but it's okay. Of course it is. He stole top of the line technology for us. 
Why wouldn't it be okay? Annoying monkey. I agree. I know I can at least get your settings set up for you. That's the easy part. Oh, what's the hard part then? Um, by the way, Zach, uh, I don't think you, you should skip the first chapter of Resident Evil 5. It's actually my favorite. We are I like the start of the game. Capture card. We don't. How did this happen? No, it has to work. I, 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 no, 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 no. It's that's not what I wanted to say. I have got the capture card to work, so it will work. Uh, what I don't know how to do on um, on OBS is set up the like the widgets that I have over here. For new donations and new followers uh, I would love to do more than that because those are I, I could show you, you you'd re be really surprised how I cheated with having that um, AC4 finally uh, and yeah even on XSplit I cheated a lot with getting those things working. So I'd love to learn how to do it properly, especially the chroma thing. Cause I'd like, yeah, Twitch alerts. I'm using something else, uh, but yeah. Oh, music. The Fury. So what's really weird about my setup right now is that I I have no idea how to get rid of the collar on the on the bars. That's why I have a background, because I'd like to have it transparent, like if I did it on on Photoshop. You need a donation center that doesn't require 50 cents. That's one thing you need. How would that work? You mean the, the thing for donations? It's, it's the, she the cheapest one out there, I think. Everyone uses that. Running 
running out of batteries. It's a struggle. I don't know. So isn't this setting way better already? Like, don't you like this a lot more than Middle East? I know I do. Female shotgun. Should I use the disguise? Twitch alerts only takes 1% of donations. I don't think Twitch alerts has a donation feature. It doesn't take anything from donations, does it? There's still something here. Yeah. I don't feel like going there just for that. Okay, Eric. Have a good Lego night. Enjoy yourself. And say hi to Tori for me. It does. Oh, well. Wow. The one I'm using does not take anything from donations, I think. The one I'm using for alerts. do I get up here? Oh, okay. <laughs> what are you using? Uh, I'll tell you in, in a bit. Let me check. I need to go and check it. Let me pick up that and hide in the grass and I will take a look. Send my donation over Facebook Messenger. <laughs> I don't think that works, Zach. I'm using D Notifier for the alerts. The only prepaid credit card I have on me is worth two cents. <laughs> that is not much. I'll give you that.
attacking. HQ, HQ. This is HQ. We're under attack. Acknowledge. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. So I could take this point. I'm just surprised I managed to spend 49.98 somewhere. You can use different alerts for different things, like I have one that does number of followers today, and another that does how long I have been streaming. That is cute. Uh, through, I don't think he means through chat. That would be Muwat. <laughs> you have to wake up at 4 a.m. on a Saturday. Why? Snake, there's someone I'd like you to meet. A member of the mission staff. A psychological counselor. Psychological counselor? A lot of soldiers can't handle the stress of battle, end up panicking. She'll be useful in helping you understand the mindset of both the PMC and rebel soldiers. She you have school? Rosemary. Nice to meet you, Snake. This is Rosemary. She used to work as a data analyst at the Pentagon, but moved to combat support during the Big Shell incident. Uh, yeah. She was in charge of Jack's files, wasn't she? After that, she studied psychology. And now she's a counselor with CSP, the Combat Stress Platoon. Yeah, I hear psychological counseling's the hot field these days. Increased combat efficiency and productivity, all without ever picking up a gun. I'll be acting as your personal counselor on this mission. Since the passing of the new millennium, one of the most important issues facing today's military is the mental care of its soldiers. I can also provide advice on soldier psychology from a threat assessment perspective. Contact me anytime. I'll be standing by here at home with Roy, but I'm on a different circuit. The frequency is 147.79. Her advice will have a positive effect on your psych gauge. Survival on the battlefield depends on your psychological well-being. Lose your cool and your body stops doing what you tell it to. Even a veteran soldier like you. I know. Mind, body, technique. Some things haven't changed with time. When your psych is running low, ask her for advice. It'll help keep you in peak condition and focused on the mission. By the way, Colonel, isn't that your house? Well, yes. Then the woman you married, the one that Merrill was talking about. Is Rosemary, yes. Didn't I tell you before? News to me. What about Jack? Jack. Jack, from Foxhound. Codename Ryden. I seem to remember him being engaged to Rose. Oh. We lost all trace of him. Jack's gone. I used to work with the guy. He saved Sonny from the Patriots. He disappeared soon after that. What about you? Jack disappeared and you just moved in on Rose? I was consoling her over her loss. 
And one thing just led to another. She's young enough to be your daughter. Yeah, lucky me, huh? huh. Now I see why Meryl was so disgusted. Meryl said something about me. Yeah, I believe her words were, I'll never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. I see. Colonel, you knew she was our informant in the Middle East, didn't you? Was it you who put her up to it? Yes. I used my connections in the army to get Meryl the job. You wanted your daughter someplace where you could keep an eye on her. Look, everybody involved in the incident at Shadow Moses either lost their job and status, or in the case of Meryl and Mei Ling, got brushed aside. Meryl wanted to make a comeback, a difference. We can't all be as strong as you, Snake. Some of us can't bear living like pariahs. <laughs> Since Shadow Moses, I've been branded a criminal. I think of it as my own small way of making it up to my daughter. My own flesh and blood. In any case, call Rosemary if you ever need advice. So yeah, that, that happened. Rose married Campbell. <laughs> Pedo indeed, Zach. I agree. Uh, Raj, what, what's the difference between having Nightbot or Mubot? I do have Mubot in the chat. At least I think he's still there. I know Zach plays with him sometimes. Yeah. He's still there. So can't I just do all of that with Mobot without having to get a new Nightbot? Because as far as I know, they don't go very well together. Oh, what are you? Music kit. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. I'm not going to kill him, guys, don't worry. I'm just looking. He's so cute. I want him. It's too bad we can't keep him like we did Mr. Carrots on Metal Gear Solid 3. Yeah, I'll just use Mubot then. Yes. I want to name my my Mubot something. I just don't know what yet. Since it it costs points. I'm not doing it right away. Are you an enemy? He won. Who is that? Use my imagination. Yes, just your imagination. Keep walking. <laughs> you miss Mr. Carrots. He wasn't with us that long. That was a good game, minus the whole eye thing. I think the eye thing is awesome. It was so epic. Most memorable part of the game. Oh, 
Sorry guys, no backup for you. <laughs> King Lucky, yes! That would be cool. I would also name it Zygerbot. That was uh, that would be another great name. I am helping you out. So needy these guys. Someone needed though who needs who wants to see that kind of gore. It was not that gory, and besides, uh, it's an experience that shapes the whole life of that man. You need to watch it and you need to feel his pain to understand why he changed. And believe me, if we're going to play through Metal Gear Solid 5, he's going to get it way worse than just an eye. Zygo? <laughs> no, Zyger. Zyger what? You know Zyger, he stopped by the other day, I think. Uh, this week. My by testicle, no. You'll see. I don't want to spoil it. Who is this? Snake. That voice. There's an ambush ahead. Government and PMC troops. You could be shot from anywhere. Watch your surroundings. Look to the distance. Is this... Jack? Jack is dead. Snake. I'm at your side. Wait. Let's go! Oh, it's you again. What? Okay. So that's where you were. Let's go. Who? Let's oh, go. You again. Over there. Let's go, guys. Not Let's a good go. idea. Snake, PMC sniper. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep low and stay behind cover. <laughs> Thank God he's dead. Jack is dead. Good. Raiden is not. to shit on your cereal. Right, isn't that? Yeah. Yeah. Don't cry. He's not. He's not really the same Raiden he was before.
So this weapon says it can be used with CQC. Why am I failing this? <laughs> I'm sorry, Zach. Let me use one of my custom emotes you don't have. Oh wait, there's a new emote. Who's who saw that? Mm, I didn't notice this. There's the garbage truck on fire emote. Look what I have. Daddy, but yes. That's a custom emote from kind of funny. You you don't have it. my camouflage and he still saw me. Time to party guys. Garbage truck is my, my another of my custom emotes. It's a new emote. They probably got it today. I'll show you all my custom kind of funny emotes. So what those guys are doing. So we have Nick, Tim, Mega Man Colin, Portillo, Teddy, Troy Baker, Greg as a Joker, Colin as Bane, Greg with the Slimer hat, Tim Schaefer, another Tim Schaefer, Colin as Hogan, Laura Bailey, Shuhei Yoshida, Tim, Greg, Colin and Greg, Roger Greg Smith, Cheeky Nandos, and the Garbage Truck on Fire. Those are the custom kind of funny emotes. And they are awesome. I think I think the two team chafers is a little too much. I'd rather them have uh, different stuff. But
might throw up soon. Too many people dying. Or not. There's a cutscene. Yeah, perfect time for a smoke snake. Especially if you get a hunt for them. Especially if you're in the CIA. You know those nano machines I injected you with back in the Middle East? They let me track your location. A squad of enhanced female soldiers belong to the PNC. Anytime there's a mess that needs cleaning up, they're on the scene leading the elites. That's a female? Probably freelancers hired by the PNCs. They're run out of a separate parent organization. Guess it's time for good old Drevin to let you in on a few things. Ever since he showed up in the Middle East, the B&B Corps has got orders to kill. Number one priority is to eliminate some guy on sight. A guy named uh, Solid Snake. But from where I'm sitting, Old Snake seems a little more appropriate. Uh, old, huh? Cheer up. That's the bad news. Word on the street says that beneath those ugly ass suits, B and B's are real babes. Drop dead gorgeous. They also say each one of them's been traumatized by war. Bad. They weren't even soldiers to begin with, you know. More like victims of war. They suffered shell shock on the battlefield. Post traumatic. It damaged their minds pretty much beyond repair. So the only way they could cope with the reality of battle was to become war machines themselves. The remnants of their human side are buried. I don't smoke, Raj. I don't need smoke on three. That's what you see on the outside. War transforms a snake into beasts. shell something human survives a fragile scarred heart without a shell to protect it it's like the yolk of an egg word going round is their natural flesh
flesh and blood bodies can't survive in the open for more than a few minutes. They've been convinced that by killing the snake, their minds will be cleansed. They think it's gonna free them from all the pain and all the fury and all the sorrow, which makes these babes pretty much obsessed with killing you. Yeah, Zach, he is old. <clears throat> he has one year to leave tops. Raging Raven. He's also a laughing octopus. Master of memories. Crying wolf. She rules on four legs. Finally, mistress of mind control. Screaming mantis. Mantis? Yeah. There used to be a guy by that name in the U.S. military. A Russian psychic. He could control people's minds. I guess she inherited the title. She keeps the other B&B's minds in check with her powers. Octopus. Raven. Wolf. Mantis. You got it. They're the snake hound. They've got you in their sights. <laughs> Shit. I'd hate to be in your shoes. Raven. I thought no one was supposed to be able to hack into the system. You with the Patriots? No, sir. I ain't no lale lule. <laughs> I mean, I'm no Patriot. You could say Patriot. I guess that means you're clean, right? The nano machines I got in me are different from the military kind. No speech restrictions for me. The hell are these Patriots? Are they human? Not anymore, they ain't. They're the law of this world, created over the course of history. They're what holds this world together, keeps this whole mess in check. We are formal. We are the very discipline and law that Americans invoke so often. The Patriots are America, the world's greatest military power. They are the war economy. Which makes you and me just cogs in a much grander schematic. I mean, someone obviously had to start the whole thing at the beginning, but now their law has taken on a life of its own. A life of its own? Yep. The country, the war economy, it ain't run by people. It's run by the system. No need for <laughs> decision making thought. It's all handled by a massive, yet simple information processing system. An AI. It works just like natural law. The world's a much simpler place than most folks realize. It's true, Zack. An octopus is back and the army isn't here. We are all disappointed. I have a good smoke crutch. The SOP system is one part of that. It's all backed up by a foolproof control system. So not even yours truly can sneak inside the Patriots' AIs. What if, hypothetically, someone found a way? If they could fool the IDS. I guess they could use it as a haven to lay low. Haven? You know, like a tax haven. In the internet society, we have net havens, data havens, a haven is some place where social conventions and the rules of the net don't apply. Back in the 20th century, the super rich would open bank accounts in countries without income tax laws. Not a bad way to evade paying taxes. Now we've got us a society where everybody's DNA and personal info is totally controlled by the nano machines inside their bodies. Won't be long before people start using havens to. It's okay, Zach. Have a good night. I guess you See you tomorrow. Gun laundering kind of borrows from the Haven concept, after a fashion. Even so, good luck finding a way to access the Patriots' AIs from the outside. It's I'm going to impossible. close the stream after this cutscene like as well. There's no so it's okay. Those AIs from the outside. But Liquid's got something in mind. You sure there's no way? Just a gun longer. 
Only reason I'm interested in you is that you started <clears throat> out of fire. All right then, you need me, just give me a ring. Your ass back inside now. I have you. Well, that was a lot of exposition, but uh, we learned some cool stuff. <laughs> okay, see you, Zach. I'm just gonna clear this place, check what items I missed, and then I'll quit the stream as well. I'll, I'll take Roger's offer for help and see if I can set up OBS. So, have a good night, and we'll see if there's anything new on Monday. <laughs> Goodbye. flies. That was a little too good. Sleep guess set. Probably up top. Hmm, there's a lot of crap in there. not even a stealth game anymore. Oh, 
Playboy. Who hit the Playboy here? Okay, got Twitch alerts working with CL, CL yeah, plugin. Uh, I don't use the green screen for for those. I probably should, but I don't know how to. My alerts are always are always there. You just don't see them unless. Uh, text pops up. Oh, really, nothing here. Great. Oh, it's really easy. Okay. I don't mind learning. I'm not touching the floor. Should I be electrocuted? So now I don't know where to go. How do I get in there? Show how to make it pop up on your stream. Yeah, that's that's what I hope to learn. Hmm. Is there a hole here? No. It's too dark. Hmm. I wanted a checkpoint. I think I'm going back and then I'll come back to that place and save there. Because I really want to take a break. back to where I came and um, save. Probably try that electrical stuff again. I can turn off that allows me to use the cables. I don't know. Have you played this before, Rod?
Yes, that. Yes, that's not an option. Really lost about this. Anyway, I'm going back to the other area and then come back in. Played the first one and Snake Eater. So, I assume you're not really understanding what's happening. What's happening? I apologize for that. Go back. No, but I don't want to save and lose what I already got. Okay, okay, okay. I'll play a bit more. It's still fun to watch. Well, <laughs> I'm glad for that. It's it's such a story-heavy game. I actually played through all of the previous ones. If you if you get interested and maybe want to understand the story and catch up, uh, I played through all of them, and you can see them on the highlight section. I saved them forever, so the archive is there if you want to take a look. Okay, whatever. Here's another, another area. That's what I wanted. Beside you. Raiden, where have you been all this time? What have you been doing? On a mission. Finding something. For someone. Finding what? The corpse. Of Big Boss. What? I was asked to do this in exchange for Sonny's location. Liquid? No. The leader of a small resistance group. Her followers call her Matkapluku. Matkapluku? Big Mama. We'll finish this later. I'll follow your trail and catch up with you. Wait, what about Big Boss's body? It's with her now. Her. What's going on, Snake? Rose, I just got a call from Raiden. It sounds like he's close by. Jack? Yeah. Did... did he seem okay? Yeah, as far as I could tell from his voice. Really? Um, that's great. Snake... I have a favor to ask. What? Don't let him know I'm involved in this operation, okay? I think it would be best to just leave him alone for now. What happened between you and Jack? After the Big Shell incident, he became unstable. Memories began to resurface from his childhood when he fought for Solidus in the Liberian Civil War. And in the midst of all of that, the baby we had together... It, it hadn't even been born yet. Jack slowly stopped coming home. And when he did, he'd be dead drunk, sometimes covered in cuts and bruises. Roy was worried he was Jack's commanding officer, but Jack just avoided him. I was all alone. And Roy was so kind to me. He's the one who encouraged me to become a counselor. I know it sounds like I'm making excuses, but I needed to get over it. To move on with my life. I'm worried about him, of course, but I'm also afraid of him. 
All right. I'll keep my mouth shut. Thank you, Sneak. Okay. We got to another area. It's time to go ahead and save. And we're done for today. Sent you the link to the CRLR browser plugin thing. I have no idea how to use it, so I'll have you on Skype after after I take a quick break and we'll talk about whatever that's used for, because I have no real idea. Anyway. That's it. This was Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots will be back on Monday. I hope you enjoyed what you saw and thanks for watching. Good night. <laughs>